All right, welcome everyone and welcome to our live virtual celebration for the Faculty of Environment Fall 2020 class. To all our newest alumni joining us today, I hope you've had a chance to see your official convocation email and ceremonial video that was sent to your email, you Waterloo email this morning. And I want to offer you our warmest congratulations on your convocation. We are so excited to be welcoming our newest alumni, as well as your friends, family, and other supporters from around the world to celebrate the accomplishment of this incredible and diverse groups of graduates. My name is Pedro Serrano, and I am proud alumnus of the Faculty of Environment, and I have the honor of being your co-host for today's event. You'll have a chance to meet my co-host a little later this afternoon's program. Class of 2020, today, the University of Waterloo community comes together to celebrate this tremendous milestone with you. Before we share, before we hear from them, we have a few housekeeping notes so that you can make the most of your experience today. Firstly, invite your friends and family to participate live today by sharing this event link. And as you're celebrating throughout the days ahead, we encourage you to share your photos and memories on social media using hashtag UWaterlooGrad. We also want to hear from you and encourage you to use the chat function on the right-hand side of the stream throughout the event to shout out your friends, fellow graduates, and join the conversation. Why don't we try it out now? Send us a comment, letting us know where you're tuning in from and who you're watching with. And we'll read some of that later. So thank you for participating. Uh, keep sharing your comments and shout out, and there will be more opportunities to participate throughout the event. Again, the event hashtag is hashtag UWaterlooGrad. I think it's time to hear from our first guest of the day, joining us live from on campus. Please welcome Feridun Handem Lopper, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Waterloo. Thank you very much, Pedro, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to this great celebration of the um, uh, graduate for to, to acknowledge the graduates of the uh, Faculty of Environment at the University of Waterloo. Before uh, we proceed, however, um, I would like to 
on, on our behalf, offer our respects to the elders, past and present of the uh, neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples, and acknowledge that the University of Waterloo sits on their traditional territory called the Haldeman Tract. This is the land that was promised to the Six Nations people on each side of the Grand River. Earlier this year, um, we had to make some difficult decisions, uh, one of which was, what do, we, what do we do with our June convocation? And we had to make a difficult decision that we wouldn't be able to do it in person, uh, keeping everybody's safety and well-being in mind. But we were hoping that uh, we could perhaps uh, make up for it in October. Unfortunately, it didn't work out this way either, knowing um, uh, quite well that where the pandemic uh, is right now. I don't want it, uh, as I was thinking about the celebration this morning, I feel the same, exactly the same, with the same excitement, the same energy uh, as I always do on convocation days. I imagine I'm walking into our convocation hall and I'm looking at you and looking into your eyes and then that spark is there, that glitter is there. And I am absolutely as excited as you are celebrating today. It also took me back to one of the earlier days of meeting many of you um, that we had a conversation and uh, <clears throat> I thanked you. I congratulated you for having made some really important decisions, one of which was, of course, to come to the University of Waterloo. And I said, this is a very, very different experience. Make it a different experience and promise me that you will complete your degree. You will be here today. And you are. You kept your promise. And I'm delighted with that. You're entering into a world, or you have already entered, um, is a little bit more challenging than the day you entered the university. Uh, but this is exactly what I hope that um, you'll be ready for. If I have any, any excitement, hope um, of a beautiful, promising future, you are the ones who will be making it, regardless of what the challenges may be. I hope that the University of Waterloo experience has prepared you for this kind of challenge. But right now, it's a moment of celebration. I can't just wait to hear our valedictorian, uh, Annie Yang. Uh, Annie, um, I heard that it's going to be a fabulous uh, address, but also, again, um, thank uh, Pedro uh, Serrano for co-hosting this event. And with that, I wish you all the fun. Enjoy it. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Feridun, for celebrating with us today. Um, reading on some comments here, uh, we got uh, from Maya, uh, watching from BC, Canada. He said he's a, she's a proud mama. Okay, we also got one from uh, Pedro, Hola, Hola from Waterloo, celebrating my roommate with my roommate. Congratulations to everybody. I like your name. Um, we got Pranav. Um, hello, I'm Pranav from India. Wow. Um, it's been a different time zone. Thank you for tuning in. Um, congratulations, Maha from Sobia. And um, we got congratulations to Stephanie Vong. Um, and congratulations to uh, um, Aisha Rana, India. So um, keep them coming and I'll read them uh, later on. So next up, we have a very special guest joining us live from Montreal, who is also a part of the class of 2020. I am pleased to welcome the valedictorian from the Faculty of Environment and my co-host today, Annie Yang. All right. Hello, graduating class of 2020. My name is Annie Yang and I am so honored to be your valedictorian. Although we're not able to celebrate together because of this pandemic uh, and our time at UW has come to an unfortunate end, I do want to remind you to not forget about the memories, the friendships, as well as the accomplishments that you've made along the way. 
I know your transition into the real world wasn't what you expected or planned, but remember that if you were able to make it out to Nodra Crawl and still make it to your 8 a.m. class the next day, you are resilient and you have the perseverance to push you to do great things. And all jokes aside, Phil, as you go on to the next chapter of your life, fill those pages with the people you love, as well as activities that challenge you and a career that you enjoy. So continue to be a Waterloo warrior fighting for a more sustainable future, as well as congratulations class of 2020. That's changed the world. All right, thank you, Annie, for joining us today, and congratulations. Again, let me just read some few comments. We got um, from Winnipeg, we also got from Kuwait and India. Um, thank you. Um, we got from Iran as well. And um, so, yeah, uh, I have another question for our audience. Um, I know many of you are watching today with your friends and family, so send us a comment letting us know who supported you during your studies. Annie, um, is there someone you would like to give a shout out to? Oh my God, there's so many people I want to give a shout out to. Like my friends from that stuck with me for the last five years, like shout outs to them because they had to deal with me in every single classes that we had to go through. How about you, Pedro? I got some as well um, in mind. I got Rebecca, also my friend, and um, the Tim Hortons lady from ML. She's super great. I love her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's also the EV3 uh, night shift custodian. She's amazing, letting me stay there all night. She's seen me at my worst state. Um, so uh, thank you for um, doing that for me. And um, yeah. Awesome. And I think it's time for us to hear from another special guest of ours. I'd like to give a very warm welcome to Jean Dean or Jean Audrey, the Dean of the Faculty of Environment. Welcome, Jean. Well, hello, everyone. How exciting to join you, the class of 2020. Uh, let me begin by thanking Annie and Pedro for being our co-hosts today. You're doing a great job. Of course, I have the warmest congratulations to each of you who has persevered and thrived really in order to graduate from your respective programs. I know that at times probably this stretched you. I'm sure that at times it delighted you and we're so happy that you were with us on this journey. I know that it's already been acknowledged that lots of people supported you along the way and this is a shout out to them, your family, your friends, your instructors of all kinds, your entire community that allowed you to feel that you were supported throughout this journey. I also want to acknowledge, as our president has, that you know this is a class that has had to have resilience and finish in unprecedented circumstances. And I know that I have faith that you will be able to continue to prosper in the world ahead, no matter what it sends us. I want to take a moment to recognize that Mari Forotan is being honored today with a posthumous degree. Unfortunately, we lost Mari in the Ukrainian airline flight in January. The, uh, that, that came down and uh, took the lives of many people. The passing of Mari, of course, is a great loss to our community and to her family. But it's also a reminder that life can be short and that we need to make the most of every moment. And I know that you will in working forward, looking forward, and I'm hoping that you'll stay connected with us in the Faculty of Environment. The strategic plan for the faculty that we approved some months ago is together for a sustainable future. This captures Annie's thinking as well. So I hope you'll work with us and be together with us as we continue to make the Faculty of Environment impactful and a place for the future generation of students. Please join our online platform in time, ENV Connect, and you'll be able to learn more about what's ahead. So just again, my warmest congratulations. And now I would like to invite our Academic Vice President and Provost Dr. James Rush to present the class of 2020. Hello graduates, my name is James Rush and I'm the Vice President of Academic and Provost for the University of Waterloo. It's my honor to be the one who gets to present the list of graduates for the class of 2020. Congratulations, we are very proud of you.
Awesome. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We are so happy to celebrate with you all today and want you to know that there is a huge campus community thinking of you and all that you have accomplished over the last few years. And speaking of campus community, I would love to hear from our audience once again. Let us know your favorite memories from your time at U Waterloo. Mine would be trying to find a computer during the day before its due, <laughs> assignments are due. So what about you, Annie? Oh my gosh, remember doing laps around the Dana Porter Library, just trying to find a seat or even just uh, having all-nighters with my classmates in the studio and it's, it's just a fun time. <laughs> For sure, for sure. And actually, referring back to the comments, right now we got some, I'm a proud of my daughter, Majinda. Um, we got people from Venezuela. Hi there. Um, we got um, uh, from Sunny Hunar Malik. Um, shout out to you. We also got, um, thank you, Dada, uh, from Andrea D'Souza. Um, we got Mag, Stacy, Frankie, Majinda, Emily, Terryman, again from Andrea uh, D'Souza, thank you. Shout out to you guys. Um, um, thank you to my mom and aunt for holding me accountable, <laughs> to my faculty and my employer for endless understanding and accommodations, to my five-year-old daughter for putting up my, with my mommy doing work, work, homework from Kelly Cook. Uh, we also got some from our prof, uh, Peter Dedman. He says congratulations to everybody. Um, woot woot, Auntie. Uh, we also got that from Set. Um, there's some in different language. Sorry, I can't read them. Uh, congratulations, geographers, coming from again, Dr. Peter Dedman. Uh, congratulations, well done, geography and aviation grads. Um, congratulations, Pedro. Oh. I hope that's referring to me, thank you. Um, <laughs> and Geomatics rocks, I agree. Um, congratulations to you all. So um, yeah, those are the, some comments. Keep them coming. Um, and back to you, Annie. All right, and as we celebrate you, our graduating class today, we are also celebrating your transition into the University of Waterloo Alumni Club. What better way to celebrate than this uh, from hearing a member of the University of Waterloo's Alumni Council? We have sent a very special message to share with you all from Lee Ann Doyle, an alumni council member and an alumnus of the Faculty of Environment. Hello everyone, my name is Lee Ann Doyle and I'm a proud alumnus of the Faculty of Environment. As a member of the University of Barley Alumni Council, it is my pleasure to join you today in celebration of our newest alumni. With each graduating class, we honor extraordinary students whose achievements exceed even our highest expectations. Graduates, while many of you will embark on new journeys, I encourage you to foster the relationship that you have built with this remarkable university. Waterloo offers many resources to help you achieve your goals, whether you want to advance your career, explore new ideas, or tackle a complex problem. The university can support you in your endeavors. Take advantage of the services available to you and stay connected to Waterloo's proud alumni who live all over the world. Where you join a volunteer chapter, attend events, or connect with other alumni through our LinkedIn community. This network is a powerful resource. I speak from experience when I say that getting involved will enrich your life. On behalf of my fellow graduates, allow me to welcome you to the Alumni Club. Without further ado, it is my honor to present to you the Fall 2020 Award recipients for the graduating class.
Awesome. Congratulations to all of our award winners. And thank you, Leanne, for your message. We've received so many wonderful comments as well as memories uh, that I'd like to share and a few more. Um, we have some uh, more for Hunar Malik as well as we wanted to congratulate Marie. She did such an amazing job. Pedro, did you want to read some? <laughs> oh, sure. Um, correction also. Uh, th that's congratulations to Pedro Alden Aldenge. So that wasn't <laughs> for me. Um, um, there's also... Um, uh, favorite memories and hands down going to Beer Town after we finished assignments. Wow, I wish I was there. Uh, congratulations to Lucy and Vivi. Um, congratulations to Mari. Uh, you did a good job from Mazda. Um, again, congratulations to Hunar Malik. Um, uh, Summer Heart. Uh, that's favorite memories. Uh, congratulations again to Hunar Malik with a heart. So proud of you, um, Alicia from Alicia. Um, and congratulations to Andre Andrea Zandzuza. Um, and I know many of you have some great faculty-specific memories from orientation to late-night study sessions with some of the same people you are now graduating with. And there are so many, st many staff, faculty, and others from the environment community who wanted to share the congratulations and words of encouragement. Coming up next, we have a few of your favorite profs sharing sharing memories from their own convocation, plus a few words of advice. Congratulations, Doc Levin Marmon, graduating class of 2020. You should be very proud of your hard-earned degree, and I hope you're celebrating. As a graduate, you've developed new skills, you definitely know more, and you very likely appreciate the limits of that knowing. I'm really proud of you, and I have so much hope now uh, that you have developed these skills and had these experiences, and you're going to be taking this out into the world with you to make real change. Congratulations, class of 2020, Geography and Environmental Management. On behalf of the GEM faculty, the staff, and myself, I wish you tremendous success as you enter the next phase of your life. We're all excited for you. As we know, you'll make this planet a better place to call our home. Uh, at my convocation, the thing I remember most uh, is after the ceremony, a friend of mine out, outside the convocation hall decided we would pose like Greek philosophers for some reason. Uh, and we took this silly photo. But every year, even though I don't really remember much else about that day, I still, you know, think about that that photo, send it to my friend, or they send it back to me. And we have a little bit of a laugh, and it's a nice memory. And so I hope you're able to be a little silly and celebratory today, too. My first convocation was in 1987. And as I reflect back, I remember I had this awesome blonde mullet. Uh, I also remember having this mixed feeling of elation that I had completed the degree, but a queasiness because I really wasn't sure what the next steps were going to be. But I knew I was ready for it, and I know you're ready too. My first piece of advice is uh, never forget that you're from Waterloo and tell the people around you um, where you're from and you'll make lots of good connections that way. Second, don't forget about us back here. Tell us what you're up to. We'd love to hear from you. Always love to hear from my students. And even if you weren't my student, still we'd love to hear from you. And thirdly, remember that in all of this craziness and things going on, that it's about the journey and not about the destination. So um, as you move forward with your dreams and aspirations, don't forget about the journey you took to get there. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. When I graduated from engineering in the early 1990s, Canada was in a recession. Economic uncertainty led to the opportunity to do grad school. There, I fell in love with teaching and have been honored to be making a hopefully positive impact on students like yourselves ever since. Today's uncertainty seems so much greater. Climate change, political upheaval, a global health pandemic and a pandemic of racism, injustice and inequality. It can feel paralyzing. Don't be paralyzed, be energized. Your education has prepared you to be comfortable with discomfort and to work together to find the solutions to the wicked problems that face us. 
You have the experience, the skills, and the knowledge to take that uncertainty as opportunity and to turn opportunity into positive impact. I'd encourage you to nurture your spirit of curiosity and your drive to learn as you take the next steps in your journey. My master's advisor once told me, to live a successful and fulfilling life, you need to find a purpose in your life. Be disciplined, so kindness to others, and be considerate of all people. If you follow this advice, you'll be satisfied with whatever you do, wherever you are, and however you live your life. Congratulations again, and good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go well. Awesome. The faculty environment has also created a great convocation playlist on Spotify to help you celebrate, featuring more than a thousand songs contributed by faculty, staff, and fellow grads. You can find it on the environment convocation webpage or by searching ENV convocation playlist on Spotify. Thank you so much to the faculty community for creating this playlist. I can't wait to start listening to it because um, I'm always looking for new songs to listen to. I'd also like to share a couple of more comments before we sign off. Um, one memory that I do like to remember is going to nostril crawl and singing on the, the karaoke machine of just all the ENV O Week songs. And that was such a great memory and just doing all of the dances as well. Uh, we want to congratulate Jonathan, love from all of your family from Missy VDV, as well as um, Kylie Ann, congratulations from Maggie M. As well as congratulations to everyone from Mari's mother, Layla Furutan. Thank you so much, Layla Furutan, for joining in with us. Awesome. So, um, a few more. Uh, thank you to my entire family who is watching Andrea's convocation from India, Kuwait, uh, USA. God bless. That's from Lucy D'Souza. Um, we also got from uh, congratulations to Kaylee Ann again. Um, uh, and congratulations, Pedro. And I mean me. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you all so much for joining us today to celebrate the fall class of 2020 and congratulations to our graduates. I hope you have been able to reflect on your time at Waterloo and thank you and thank the people who helped you out through the ups and downs. Uh, you all have so much to celebrate. And I'd like to take the opportunity to encourage all of our newest alumni to stay connected within the University of Waterloo and to look out for opportunities to engage with the alumni community virtually and hopefully soon in person. Uh, following this event, all those who RSVP'd will receive a link to complete a survey. We hope you will take the time to let us know about your convocation experience and how you enjoyed today's event. Each of these events will also be available to watch afterwards at the University of Waterloo YouTube channel. And no matter where you might be, I invite you all to raise a glass or a mug or a water bottle and whatever you have handy to join me in a toast for the Faculty of Environments Class of 2020. So, you are all now and forever Waterloo Warriors. Warriors are stronger together and then they are alone. You will always have a home and a community at the University of Waterloo, no matter where in the world you might be. So remember, once a warrior, always a warrior. Congratulations, class of 2020. Cheers. Thank you.